Hey guys, finally back with another video. Today's video is going to be on my 5 top Cydia tweaks for the iPad on 5.1.1. So the first tweak I have for you today is called Full Screen for iPad. This does cost $2.19 in the Cydia store, but there are ways you can get these for free. There are 4, four out of 5 of these Cydia tweaks that are paid for, but if you add the repo banned iPhones, I'll have it pop up now and down below. Add this repo and you'll be able to get all these for free. I don't recommend you doing this, I recommend you do pay for them, but it's completely up to what you want to do. So the first one's full screen for iPad, as you see, this will let you go into full screen mode by double tapping your home screen. As you see, the bar up the top here disappeared as you double tap, and it'll let you go into a full screen landscape browsing mode. Um, there are a few other things to this, they're a bit buggy at the moment, but three fingers slide across. And it will switch to another web page that you've got open, your different tab. So I'll switch it over to YouTube here. You should be able to slide back. As I said, it's a little bit buggy at the moment. And it slides you back like that. It takes a while, it is a bit buggy. But you get the main point of it, that is full screen for iPad. The second tweak I've got for you is called, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right, but Qster. I will have this down below as well. This is a $9.99 app. And it's basically a better way of multitasking. As you see here, if I open up my photo booth, it comes up in this small little window. I can then click out of it and open up my settings. Comes up another little multitasking window. I can put that over there. I can close that. I can come right across, open up my Twitter. Have all these open. I can rotate it to the side. Have it down below. I can full screen it. I can tap back out. I can close that if I want to. I can drag to extend how big I want my app to be open. I can close that, close that open up another one. It's just a nice way of multitasking. This comes brilliant when you've got games that are only for the iPad. So like this here, it's only or only for the iPhone, so it only suits for the one side. So you can have that open in the corner there while you still have your Twitter going and your Twitter feed up. So I could have that there, rotate that to the side and have this come down here and I can play the game while still reading through my Twitter. So it is a nice little tweak there that is nine dollars and ninety nine cents but as I said it is up to you, you can add a, this repo and get it for free I don't recommend it but you can if you like my third tweak for you today is called swipe selection this is free completely free so you just go in type it in type in swipe selection and you can get this for free this is for all you people out there that like to type up blogs and to type on the iPad this makes it really quick to edit mistakes so, as you know, if you miss a letter up the top here, you have to hold down and go over to select where you made your mistake. This little tweak allows you to get one or two fingers, get it and swipe across your keyboard. And as you see at the top, my cursor is moving across. And you can make it go even quicker with two fingers. So this makes it really easy and efficient to edit your work and much quicker than just holding down and waiting and dragging across. Just get your one or two fingers, swipe across to edit your work. So that is called swipe. This next little tweak is called barrel and this is $2.99 and as you see here as I swipe across the page it does a little effects. This is what this little tweak does, a little fun tweak. Gives it little cool effects. You can go into see settings when you install this through Cydia. Go into barrel and there's just a heap of different ones you can um, select. So I'll go page fade, you go back out and there'll be a new different effect as it see as it fades across into the next page so that's pretty cool there's a few other little ones like you got your merry-go-round go across and it comes like a merry-go-round so it's a cool little tweak and a lot of fun so my last little tweak I got for you today is my favorite it is called spring to Mize 2 the reason it's called Spring to Mize 2 is because the 2 stands for 5.0 and up, so iOS 5.0 and up. And if you're below 5.0, you can just go get Spring to Mize. 
So this is two ninety nine, but as I said, you can get this for free. Up to you. So as you see, it will be in your extensions. You go into settings, spring to mice, and we'll zoom in here. And this lets you edit absolutely, basically everything on your iPad, from your dock to your icons to your pages to your notification center to your time machine to your app switcher, everything, your icons, lock screen. So as you see, we'll tweak up some stuff here. So my dock. We will enable a cover flow effect. Uh, we will, you know, add some more icons down there. So we'll make it so we can fit eight icons down there. Then we'll have to turn on use custom number because we've selected a custom number. You can hide your dock if you want to. Uh, we'll put some. Let's put some icons. So we will make. We can have up to eight across. In portrait mode, add across in landscape mode and select custom number again. Uh, and we will apply these settings and respring. And as it respring's here, should have a whole new look, slide to unlock. As you can see, all my icons across. I've got a nice little cover flow icons down here. And as you see, we'll be able to move more than six or so icons down below. Because I've selected up to eight. So I can move as many as I want in there. So this is called Spring Tomize. It lets you customize your iPad, your icons, and your pages, and absolutely everything. You can hide the dock if you want to. It's completely up to you. So this is called Spring Tomize 2. And... That's about it. That's my five top tweaks in Cydia for 5.1.1 on the iPad. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I'll try and do one for the iPhone if you request it. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy these tweaks. I'll have more to come. Subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. See you next time.